Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Azure Infrastructure Update. It's the 28th of July and a tiny number of updates this week. As always, we have the chapters. So you can jump to one of the two updates that you may care about the most. Also new videos this week. So I created a video diving into how I can control access to the different tooling options, either for Azure's Resource Manager Control Plane, which would be the Portal, the CLI, PowerShell, REST, or the Microsoft Administrative Portal. So just the Azure Portal, but also things like the Microsoft 365 Portal, Purview Portal, et cetera. So I went through how I could use those, and even using PIM to give me a temporary access, for example, to the portal. So I had a bit of fun combining different technologies together. And then really quick, how I can go and look at the SLA achieved for authentication of my particular entry tenant, formerly known as Azure AD tenant. So I'm going to see, hey, historically, what has my availability been? So on to the really quick updates. So there's now an app gateway for containers in preview. Now we're used to app gateway as this layer seven intelligent gateway, and it worked with containers but we had this app gateway ingress controller, which had to go and look at things happening and then update this Azure gateway resource, which would then interface and route directly to pods. So it worked, but it was really taking what was designed to be infrastructure backends and make it work with AKS. Although this has got app gateway in the name, it's a completely brand new solution designed specifically for the AKS workloads, my Kubernetes. And what it enables me to do is as a Kubernetes developer or administrator, I don't have to know anything about Azure. I can deploy this in a managed scenario all through, hey, there's a Helm chart, and then I'm just deploying through my regular Kubernetes manifest, my YAML file, and I'm just then using gateway APIs, or I can use the ingress API, I have a choice, but gateway is the way forwards. So I don't have to worry about any of the Azure stuff anymore if I don't want to. I can bring my own. I can bring my own Azure resources if I'm used to using templates to create those things. But this is a completely new way of doing it. And I'll actually create a deeper dive video on this. And then the other update. So Azure SQL Database on the DC series. So remember the DC series is the confidential compute and these are using the Intel processor with the SGX, the Software Guard extension. So I have that secure enclave where I modify my application to have that sensitive memory in that enclave. So before there was a limit on the number of virtual cores, it was eight virtual cores. Well, now it supports up to 40. So a big improvement on the scalability with what I can achieve with that new always encryption. And that's it. Super, super fast. Until the next video, take care.